Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. If this is your first time here, this is a reseller's channel. I like to show what's sold, what I find, and do some reseller tips and tricks to help you hopefully improve your business and increase your sales. So today we have $923.24 going out on eBay. We have $65 going out on Mercari, and we have $145 going out on Poshmark. So I am going to show you all of those. And first, right after this, you are going to see the first ever airing of my new trailer for my channel made by Emily Conway, who is great. I gave her nothing. She did this all on her own. Emily, I really appreciate it. If you guys have not checked out her channel, please do so. She's amazing and so creative and upbeat and has some great sales as well. So let's go. Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Kat, the nurse flipper. I've spoken with her before and she's putting up numbers just as good as me or even better at some time. So that's awesome. Hey Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have Kat, the Nurse Flipper with me. Her YouTube channel is The Nurse Flipper. Hey everyone, I have an awesome guest with me today. I have The Nurse Flipper. It's like a, a, a nice variety of reselling content. What's that right there? Oh, now that's somebody's lunch, I think. Measure it, so this one is one and a half inches, so I would put that in my description. Oh, is there candies? <laughs> Getting her hair off, dude. That's right. All right, guys, so let's start off with all of these eBay sales. Let me show you what's sold. So I'm gonna go over some jewelry first because I pulled this first, it is inside. This is a Mexican alpaca silver. This is a small size. I listed it as child. This one, if you remember on the jewelry, I have an average of two to $3 in on it. This one sold for $9.32. All right, up next is this hinged barrette. This is Mexican alpaca again. And this one sold for $9.22. This, this is a, I sold one of these on Poshmark last week. I've had these over six months. I bought a lot of Victoria's Secret wholesale and it is new with tags. I paid $12. I took an offer of $6.30. I've had it almost a year. I just want it gone and a little bit of my money back. And then up next, we have this braided cup bracelet. So this one is not sterling silver. It is a costume piece. And I did label this as braided thick and chunky which is great on these big bracelets people do search for that this one sold for twenty dollars plus shipping again we're two to three dollars in on that and then up next i have these lot of teenage mutant ninja turtles um i paid probably less than a quarter a piece on these so at most two dollars in the buyer bought two sets of three and paid $16.18 plus shipping on these. And then we have another necklace. This is Liz Palacios. Once again, if these are signed, guys, you're going to have more of a chance of selling them. This one is super pretty. It's really delicate. You can kind of get some of that green. This has crystals in it, which is cool. So this is what this one looks like. And it was labeled Liz Palacios. And this one sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Up next is one of the shirts that I got 
off of the rack at a local auction. I paid $20 for a ton of clothes. This is a vintage Napa polo. So it has the Napa patch there. Um, and it is, I think size medium. It's not very big. Um, and this one sold for $10.52, less than a quarter in. So that one is a good one. And then I also sold this copper bracelet. The copper, if you remember, I've had a few months. So less than 50 cents in. This one sold for $6.05 plus shipping. Sorry, guys. I also wanted to add I will be live tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on Alexis KIT's channel. So if you guys are able, come over and check me out there. All right, guys, I just want to say, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. It helps more people to see my videos. And if you haven't already and like videos like this and want to see more, please hit the subscribe and turn on all notifications so you know when I put a new video up. So coming up next, we have, and these are pretty cool. I've had them forever. These are three little pigs plates and they are made in Japan and they are from the 1920s. So really neat little ones. I had a bunch of Mickey Mouse ones back before I started my channel. So these two plates sold for $12.54. The Mickey Mouse one sold quite a bit higher. Um, I think I sold a handful, like four for $40 to $50. So keep an eye out for small china that has Disney characters on it. And up next is this glass sea turtle paperweight, which is pretty cool. Um, watch out for little knickknacks like this. Um, they sell pretty decent. This one sold for $12.14 plus shipping. And then up next, we have this Avon Demi Cologne. This is an actual cologne, so it will have to go ground shipping because of alcohol content. And it does have the box. Um, and this one, I have 50 cents in. It sold for $7.19. I've said it before. We're going to say it again. I wouldn't pick up Avon perfumes. Avon jewelry does pretty good, but not perfumes. So that was a bad buy on my part. Up next. So I don't have all of these. Um, so this is a viewer sale. Um, Nana Tink's Treasures, which I'll pop her channel up there, has been binge watching my videos for me to help me get hours because I don't have enough hours to get monetized. So she has been watching and said she watched so much she had to buy something. So Nana, I greatly appreciated these plus one other one that I promise I will find before I ship them out. And this cool Fitbit watch will be going out to you today. So I really appreciate your purchase, Nana, and I hope you enjoy them. So let's see what we got next. Okay, up next is this Glass Baron Eagle. I love picking up stuff like this. I probably paid too much. I think I might be making only a few dollars on this. I've had it close to a year. I'll try and show you guys that. It's really cool. Um, and it does still have the sticker there. So this is 22 karat gold on the tips. If you can find stuff like this at thrift and garage sales, it's a great buy. I bought this on Shop Goodwill and honestly, I paid too much. So this one sold for $35 plus shipping. I think I paid about 25, so not much profit there. And then up next, we have some more of the pyometric cones. This is for ceramics for when they fire the kiln. My buddy is here. Um, and then we have <laughs> this Indianapolis Colts Super Bowl Champions hat. It is new, I believe, and this one sold for $8 plus shipping. I only paid a dollar. Let's see. Mom. Mom. This is a Martha Stewart quilt. I am going to double poly this um, and big poly. I believe I can make it fit. Um, this one I have about $20 in and it sold for 
32.22. So I didn't make much profit, but had this Macy's palette in for a while and I'm ready for it to go. Up next is this Vera Bradley mini ID case. This is watercolor print. This print does sell pretty well. I have less than 50 cents in and this one sold for $5.25 plus shipping. These crazy things are next and I might regret this. So here I go with lamps again. <laughs> These I got for $5 at a garage sale. These are like solid crystal and I'm out of bubble wrap. So I'm going to send my hubby to get some bubble wrap and we're going to pay a lot for that bubble wrap. Um, I've ordered some from Amazon and it's late. So here are these. There are two of them. I paid $5. I accepted an offer of $30 because the shipping was $40 for the buyer. And it's actually a antique dealer that ships overseas. So I cut her a deal because I've had them for months and I only paid five bucks. So hopefully shipping isn't too horrible um, once I get the bubble wrap. So those sold for $30 plus shipping which was $45. Up next are these vintage Grumbacher brushes. These are just kind of regular ones. Some of these are used and I do put that in my description. Um, so as I said, always check paint brushes when you are outsourcing. And these sold for $32 plus shipping. So not a bad buy, I only have pennies in. And then up next is one of the items off of my ceramics lot. I've been a bum and haven't listed many things. I probably should list more. So this is a cute little nest and a little baby eagle. And this one sold for $14.40. I have pennies in. I got big boxes of ceramics for a dollar a box. So good sale there. Plus shipping. I already showed you guys the quilts. Let's see. So up next is another Avon. Um, this one is like a gel thing though. So this one does not have to go via, um, trying to get it out here. This one doesn't have to go via the um, ground because it doesn't have the alcohol content. It actually kind of fell apart there in the box. Um, so it's like a little gel thing. This one sold for 904 this one is an international sale so i'm gonna have to pack that pretty good um perfume cannot be shipped international because it can't be ground but this is like a shower gel that doesn't want to go in the box okay maybe so that buyer probably paid i would say 30 to 40 dollars for that even though i'm only getting the nine dollars and four cents for it and then next are some more of these ceramics paints. We sold some more. These sold for $4 plus shipping. So this is a fourth order. So it's weird. They don't sell for months. And now four have sold in less than two weeks. And then I have got... Oh, I found Nana's other paintbrush. Um, I have got this calligraphy book. Um, I sold this calligraphy book, so this one sold for $4.04 plus shipping. I am only pennies in, so that is not too bad. I had a whole stack. I am almost out of those. Eight key keyboard. It sold for $8 plus shipping. I'm about $2 in. This is from an old palette. <laughs> Got glass wrapped in jeans. Um, I sold these Kato premium jeans. You can see they're kind of fancy there. These are a great size. These are size 26. I got these for $1 at a local thrift store and they sold for $24.29 plus shipping. And then, and I'm gonna go ahead and go over the nasal mist now. I have lots of pages here from what I pulled. So I've been kind of pulling and then going over a few things with you guys. And um, yeah. So we also sold five nasal mists for $22.67. And then I sold six of these Taylor Stone Cathay. These are like an atomic starburst pattern. That one is not marked. 
and I think most of these aren't, but I got these in a set. That's how I knew what they were. So I sold five bowls for $30 plus shipping, and I have about $5 all in, but if you recall, I sold some more of that set, so it's actually all in the profit. And then we have a pair of the pink Soma panties going out. These sold for $8.09. Those are free shipping. And then we sold six more of the nasal mist for $29.14. So my cost into those is only about 35 cents. And these were a really great sale. They sold within an hour of listing before my sale even had time to kick in. So there are four of these plates. These are a milk glass. These are Hazel Atlas Pink. They are not marked. Um, I searched white milk glass ruffle to find these. And there are four saucers. And two cups with the little, these are beaded handles. Inside is white. So the four saucers and two cups sold for $70 plus shipping. My cost in on those was $7.50, so not too bad. Let's see what's next. So we sold three more nasal mists for $14.57. Um, and then this is a milk glass like candy dish. This is really cool. I only paid a couple of dollars for this. And this one is not marked. The bottom, you can see there, is really decorative. So that one sold for $17.99 plus shipping. And then I have two pairs of these. They are going out to different buyers. They are Kimbell jeans. Um, I do only have $5 in. This pair sold for $16.19, white size 14. And then I actually sold a green size 14, but to a different buyer for the same price. So these are like an olive green, size 14. And these are both off my QVC palette. So I have about $5 in, so both will be about $10 in profit. Let's see. We're getting down to like the very end, guys. So we're almost done. Um, three more nasal mist for $14.57. And then last for eBay, we have these Soma panties going out. They are going out for $8.09 free shipping. And that is it for eBay. <laughs> like that's not enough. Um, so now I will go over, my hair is kind of crazy there. Now I'll go over Poshmark with you guys. So I got this, If you, it was in one of my thrift haul videos. So this is Pottery Barn Kids. It is a pillowcase. And I got it, you can normally get pillowcases at Goodwill for 99 cents, which is what I paid. And this one sold for $9 plus shipping over on Poshmark for one pillowcase. So I could tell that felt really soft when I picked it up and I looked at the tag and it was Pottery Barn Kids, which is very popular. So not a bad sale there. And then these also sold over on Poshmark. These are Fly Londons. They are new, they are from my QVC palette. I have $5 in. I accepted a offer of $28 plus shipping. And then these are a waffle, see if you can get there. Like a thermal um, pajama. I did get these off the QVC palette. I paid $5. These sold for $20 plus shipping on Poshmark. And then last over on Poshmark is another Cozy Chick Light sweater. Somebody was asking about the tag. Um, I know it's backwards, but it just says Barefoot Jeans Cozy Chick Light. And then the other thing you can watch for on these, if I can find it. Maybe I can't. Any? Oh, here it is. It has a little starfish on the bottom of the sweaters. So this sweater sold for $45 plus shipping over on Poshmark. That's it for Poshmark. And then, sorry guys, I'm throwing things all over the place. Um, the last sale of the day is going to be 
this bracelet, which was my favorite piece out of the jewelry that we just got. It's really neat with the moon and the planets. Trying to get it to focus in there. So this is alp alpaca. It is marked. Um, you can actually only see a little bit of it as far as the markings. So this one sold for $35 over on Mercari. And that's the end. So I'll flip you guys around. Let's go over the numbers, see what profit we made. And I greatly appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a great day. All right, guys. So on eBay, we had $923.24 in sales. Our cost of goods was $113.80. We had $176.19 in fees. And shipping was $225.12. Um, so our profit was $408.13, which is 44%. You can see my fees are kind of high. That is because a lot of items sold promoted today. And then next we have Mercari was actually, um, $35. I thought it was 65, but I had already shipped some stuff. Fees were $350. Cost of goods were $3. So 81% profit over on Mercari. And then Posh, we had $145 in sales, $16 for our cost of goods, $29 for fees, so $100 profit on Poshmark, so 68.9%. So overall, not too bad. Um, the 44% is a little lower than I like, but that does happen sometimes. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. I really appreciate you watching.